After all the hustle and bustle last week about David Tennant returning as the 14th Doctor, allegedly, how could things get even weirder? Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be discussing, yet again, another very, very big and like, eye-catching piece of news. I say news, it's an alleged leak for the upcoming Doctor Who 60th anniversary, and partially this leak is about the centenary special. There's a lot to discuss and unpack, so let's just jump straight into it. <laughs> So the big speculation and theory of last week was that David Tennant is returning to the Doctor Who franchise to celebrate the 60th anniversary, playing a new incarnation of the Doctor, the 14th Doctor. Now, this rumour wasn't just a small thing that a few people discussed, it was everywhere. I mean, they even discussed it on Good Morning Britain, for which those of you who are outside the UK, that's like a morning news show. It's been on BBC websites, it's been literally everywhere, no one knows. But I thought the best thing to do would be to trace the rumour back to find, like, the sort of original place where it came from, because I wasn't actually able to do that in last week's video. Like, what sparked all of this speculation? Well, luckily, someone beat me to it. Someone on Twitter called Luke Flux. I'll put his at on screen, I presume. <laughs> That's not his real name, because that would be a mighty coincidence if Flux is his second name. Anyway, Luke says, before the New Year's special aired, they had said that they'd heard the Easter special would be a Sea Devils story. Okay, so this username that you can see on screen is where this 10th Doctor or David Tennant returning rumour came from. And it's very, very interesting when you look into the history of this person on Reddit especially, because he's got loads and loads of different things right over the years. He even put out his own thread, I don't know why I'm showing you the phone, you can see it on screen now, he even put out his own thread of all the things that he's predictably corrected over the past, like, three or four years. So at the very end of December, he reported that he had heard that the Sea Devils would be back for the Easter special, which, yeah, we've had that confirmed now. That was confirmed on New Year's Day in, like, the teaser trailer thing. He also reported that filming for Russell T Davies' second era will start in May, which SFX magazine and another magazine have confirmed RTD2 is going to start filming sometime in spring of this year, so May sounds about right. Seven months ago, he stated that the Easter special would be co-written by a playwright called Ella Something. Now, we have had it confirmed recently that the Sea Devils episode is co-written by Ella Road. So, yeah. There's also loads more examples. If you want to go and look up all these other examples, I suggest you do, because it does somewhat give a bit of credence and a bit of credit to this leaker, apparently. Like, he knew that Maxine Alderton would be directing and writing some of the Weeping Angel episode for Series 13. He's got loads of stuff right in the past, and this rumour came from him. Now, it has been sort of Chinese whispered down the line. He never said that David Tennant would be the 14th Doctor. What he originally put out was that David Tennant and Catherine Tate would return for the 60th anniversary in some sort of capacity. So that is where all of these rumours have come from. Now that's not to completely rule out David Tennant as the 14th Doctor. I mean, it's unlikely, but maybe. Far more likely is that this relatively valid source is correct in saying that David Tennant and Catherine Tate are going to return for the 60th celebrations, whatever you want to call it. So, what did he actually say? Well, 27 days ago, he said that Eleven would be returning for this special as well. He said there's going to be three specials in 2023, that's the 60th, a Christmas special, and possibly a New Year's special. And then, eight episodes series 14 in 2024. He backs this up by saying, additionally, Bad Wolf tend to film things with very long lead times, about 18 months or so, so this isn't unprecedented. And that does sound fair enough. I mean, making three specials that are sort of probably one continuous arc in a similar vein to Flux for the 60th anniversary would make sense. Now, if they wanted to sort of bring back the public, as I kept talking about in my prior video, if they want to bring back the public, putting David Tennant at the forefront of it, especially David Tennant and Catherine Tate at the forefront of this special, or these three specials, would make so much sense. They also talked about the possibility of the 11th Doctor returning, which once again makes bucket loads of sense, because if there's two Doctors that are going to return, 
like without a doubt, it's David Tennant and Matt Smith. Peter Capaldi has said in interviews before, he doesn't know whether he'd be up for it and he probably doesn't want to return to the role. He wants to like bookend it and leave it as the happy memories it was. And Christopher Eccleston absolutely hates everyone from the Russell T Davies era. So Eccleston's not coming back, which is fair enough after some of the stuff that just go and look at the ninth Doctor drama. But yeah, David Tennant and Matt Smith, that does make sense for them to come back. Now, the difficulty is, is this just a very clever person on Reddit making very educated guesses? Also, when you think about it, like the infinite monkeys typing on a typewriter theory, this person may just spew out so many rumors that eventually he gets a bunch of them right. I haven't been able to research too deep into this guy's theories and whatnot because it would take hours because they post loads of stuff on Reddit. So it is also very likely that this person just constantly spews out theories and the occasional one is correct. And then they jump on the occasional one and go, yes, see, I was right. So by no means is any of this stuff confirmed. It's also clarified in a tweet by the fantastic William Who and he says, this source of the David Tennant rumour, it's important to note that they reported Ten and Donna will be leading the 60th, not David and the f as the 14th Doctor. Which it does just make a lot more sense really, because Ten and Donna are like the iconic duo that everyone loves. David Tennant would definitely be up for coming back. Catherine Tate's probably like, screw it, why not? Now another really interesting thing from this user, when questioned about it three days ago, they said it's complicated. It sounds like they're not quite playing their roles in the strictest Davison in time crash sense. So by that they mean this little children in need special we got ages ago with, where David Tennant meets Peter Davison's fifth doctor. They're not playing it like that. They're gonna do some sort of offshoot. So maybe in a similar vein to the canceled Doctor Who episode from the 1990s called The Dark Dimension, where they were gonna get Tom Baker's doctor and say, what happens if he never regenerated? So maybe they'd do the same thing for Ten and Donna. Maybe they'll say, what happens if Donna never did the whole Dr. Donna shtick and both of them just kept, kept on living and getting older and older and older and that's where we'll be. And then maybe that gives a reason for the 11th Doctor to come in and try and save the day and correct the timeline so that all the future regenerations happen, allowing then for the 14th Doctor to come in and Boom, the series is back. They finish their statement by saying they're not playing new roles either. And that's all they can say for now. So yeah, that just sort of backs up what I just said. If they're not playing new roles, they're probably playing the same characters, but from an like, alternate universe or alternate timeline where something different happened. It's very unclear from the wording of these things whether they're talking about the centenary special or the 60th special, but apparently a bunch of classic doctors are returning and confusingly, that's not including Tom Baker. The leaker says, I don't think they'll have Tom in there because he was in Day of the Doctor and Paul was in Night of the Doctor. What I heard is it's just the 80s Doctors. One thing we did see way back in, I think, September, the classic Doctors were all in Cardiff in like a restaurant in a hotel together filming something. Now, before we all run away and get too excited, that could have just been a documentary, like for the season 18 box set or something like that. But also that could just be a cover story for them all being in Cardiff because they are part of the centenary special. Now bear in mind this centenary special has already been shot, it has already been filmed. People might say, oh yeah but the centenary special is Jodie's last, they wouldn't want to do a big multi-doctor story for that, and I'm pretty sure we already know that Joe Martin's Ruth Doctor is going to be in that special. So yeah, it's probably going to be multi-doctor anyway, so if they are going to throw in some doctors from the 80s, that does sort of make sense. Now they do clarify their statement a little bit later on where they say, not for the 60th, just 80s doctors in the centenary. Which does make sense, especially when we add it to the picture that we saw back in September. Also, you may be asking why we know that the Ruth Doctor is coming back for the centenary special. Obviously, it's not confirmed, nothing official, but Joe Martin and Sasha Darwin, the actor who plays the current master, at a Comic-Con panel, they both discussed how they enjoyed being on set together and f filming like this fun scene. And we haven't seen that yet, and it's probably not gonna be in a Sea Devils episode, so, we know at some point the Joe Martin and the Dewan Master have met, probably gonna be the centenary because yeah, the Master 
was leaked as the main villain in the centenary, so that makes sense. But that is it for today's video. Do let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on all of these rumours. Do you think they're true? Would you like to see David Tennant and Catherine Tate return to these iconic roles? Do you think the show should just move on? So much up for discussion here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out Doctor Who Echoes End, an unofficial fan film, which, yeah, it's up and you can watch it now. You can also watch the bloopers for Doctor Who Echoes End and the video diary because it was so much fun to film. And yeah, just please go and show support to the hours of work that have gone into that. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and goodbye. Don't forget to click below. Subscribe to the Confused Addie Pose.